So uh, what we're going to do is every week uh, going forward, we're going to give you a little uh, perspective into fantasy football, who you should start, who you should trade for, who you should dump, etc. All right, uh, this week uh, I want to keep it kind of broad in the beginning and then get more specific as we go. I want to talk about teams, right? Now everybody's panicking with the Cowboys because Tony Romo's out. Calm down. You're at a 10, you need to be at a 2, okay? Uh, worst mistake you can make in fantasy football, and I know because I've been playing this for like 833 years in a row. I've been playing this longer than John McCain's been in the Senate. So uh, is to panic and say, oh, I'm going to get cute. I'm going to get cute. Ah, instead of playing LaDainian Tomlinson, I think I got some sort of thing going on here with one of the Denver running backs. No, you don't. You don't have anything going on with the Denver running backs. Play LT, okay? Which, by the way, is also true for today because LT is having a little bit of trouble. He's got the nagging toe injury. Don't get cute. Just play him, all right? So I know Romo's out. I know Terrell Owens is going to suffer because of that. I know Jason Witten's going to suffer for that. By the way, of course, I traded for Jason Witten right before Romo got injured. Brilliant move on my part. But just play them, especially Marion Barber. Don't be cute. Play him. All right, now, uh, you know why? The trick is always play your best players. They might not do great every single week, but your odds are much better that way. Uh, the other team that I love is the Texans offense. Buy everyone on the Texans offense. Trade for them if you can. Start them if you have them. Steve Slayton, Matt Schaub. Matt Schaub's a good uh, person to trade for if his owner hasn't wisened up to yet. And he's on a lot of teams where there are two or three quarterbacks. Sit your other ones. Start Matt Schaub. Uh, the only guy I don't believe on in the Texans uh, offense, Amon Green. A sucker in our league, who's actually not a sucker, a pretty good player, but I don't know why he did this. He just uh, picked up Amon Green and dropped Ryan Terrain. Ryan Terrain is a Denver running back, so he could start at any moment. And he's the guy who's been injured this whole time. Perfect pickup opportunity. In fact, right after we're done with this, I'm going to go pick up Ryan Terrain uh, in our league. Okay? Amon Green, I guarantee you, gets hurt within the first three plays. I can't believe he made, the, made it through the last game. Now, on to the Bengals. Drop everyone. <laughs> Drop them all. Okay? Trade for them if you can. Trade them away if you can. Chad Johnson, Hoosh, even though Hoosh has been great over the last couple of years. Carson Palmer's hurt, of course. The running backs, get rid of them all. They're all terrible. All right? Now, speaking of a guy you have to dump, even though he's been good for so many years, he's been so rock solid. I hate to do it to you, old friend. But we've got to go uh, fishing in the river here. Torrey Holt, your work is done. Uh, rock bottom prices, man. Just give them away. It, uh, don't drop them. I mean, he's Torrey Holt. Trade him, right? You can get something for him. You know what would be a genius trade? If we could take, trade Chor Torrey Holt based on name recognition alone for Moeldy Moore. Now, that's the guy that he got him on your team. Start him, start him, start him until Willie Parker gets back. I love Moeldy Moore. Partly because I have him on my team and he's been kicking ass. But you know why Mewelde's smart uh, move? Because he was a very good running back with the uh, Vikings. And that's why I picked him up a couple weeks ago. And I thought, if you give him an opportunity, he's going to do well in a t team like Pittsburgh that runs all the time? Of course! Pick up Mewelde and start him. A couple of the pickup uh, opportunities for you. Antonio Bryan and uh, Tampa Bay finally doing well. I wouldn't bank on it, but it's worth a, a chance if you got a spot. Donnie Avery, a uh, new rookie in St. Louis. He's a uh, very good receiver, has a chance to break out there. And, uh, you know, as far as uh, starting, like I said, Schaub, Moore, Vincent Jackson, as long as Chris Chambers isn't back. If Chris Chambers is back, go back to sitting Vincent Jackson. And uh, here's a guy you should trade for, and I'll wrap it up with this one. Uh, Derek Ward. Now you're thinking, wait a minute, now Brandon Jacobs is kicking ass with the Giants. Why would I want Derek Ward, who's a pretty good guy, and maybe I could use him on a bye week and he's a good running back. But with Jacobs there, what am I trading for him for? Brandon Jacobs always gets hurt. Okay, he will get nicked. He'll miss at least one, two, three uh, starts for the rest of the year, is my prediction. And he might get hurt seriously because he's a big guy and he takes a pound and he piles into that crowd way too much for his own good, for his own health. And Derek Ward's an excellent uh, running back as it is. If Jacobs goes down, Ward's going to be in terrific shape. Maybe Torrey Holt for Derek Ward. I'm thinking, man. I'm looking out for you. So try those out this week and come back next week and see how we did. And we're the Young Turks, and now we're on Fanalists. How do you like them apples?